Good morning, buddy. Good morning. I was going to start out this uh, video with a cute dog segment and playing with Winston, but my phone died because I did not charge it last night, which totally sucks. But, oh well, here we are. About to hit up the gym. Going to do basically 30 minutes of HIIT training, but that HIIT training is going to be lifting weights and no actual cardio. I'm going to do a little bit of abs, a little bit of arms, upper body. I'm not going to do lower body just because I'm not going to do legs today because I did them yesterday. Afterwards, we are going to have our first meal of the day, and today will be the end of our intermittent fasting. Saturday and Sunday, I will not do intermittent fasting. Um, also, I bought some alcohol for Saturday. We're going to go to the river and hang out. I'm going to try out this one. Uh, it's supposedly got like one carb per can, so I'll show you that, but that'll be tomorrow. And uh, anyway, we need to get our gym workout on and then we'll get to eating, all right? It's been a little bit since I took a gym weight, so let's check it out. Yeah, 191 sounds good. Saying that was a hard workout is truly an understatement. I did not want to do that workout at all. Like, I had no energy or anything to do that workout. But I just pushed through it. And, I mean, that's kind of how you got to do it. The days that you don't want to work out are the days that you need to go the hardest because you will benefit the most from it. I don't regret it now, for sure. I was hating it the entire time, I'll be honest with you. But I am freaking starving. So we're going to go back to work and eat some food for the first time today. And I, I'm, on, I'm being so serious when I say this. This will be the last time I do intermittent fasting, at least this style of intermittent fasting. I'll still do my fat fasting because that's my favorite way to do it. Hopefully this didn't mess me up for that. We will see next week. But anyway, let's go get some food because I'm starving. Here is what lunch is going to consist of. I'm going to chug a couple tablespoons of this coconut oil and have all of this. I'll share my fitness pal how much this was. Got off of work and decided to go grocery shopping. Got some uh, barbecue pork rinds. These do not have any carbs in them. Cheese sticks, which I won't be eating these Monday through Friday this coming week. Some black cherry popel. Never had that flavor. You can't get it in little packages. We're going to come back to that. I've never had these um, real good pizzas. I've heard they are awesome and they're keto friendly. We're going to test them. We're actually going to blood test them. Um, this is going to be just to, I'm going to marinate some chicken in that. We are out of this. Some brats for tomorrow, some hamburger for tomorrow, and some hot dogs for tomorrow. This is just some new beef sausage that had some decent macros on it. I opened up my package of bacon yesterday, so I went ahead and re-upped on that. And chicken breast. I know everybody usually goes to chicken thighs, but that's just unnecessary. Like I said, I'd get back to these. Um, I'm probably going to put them in a cooler for tomorrow. That's why I'm going to go ahead and show you them. Um, they come in these 12 packs here. This one is the berry mix pack. And it looks like it has pomegranate, wild berry, um, blueberry, and uh, raspberry lime. That's blueberry and something. Oh, that word. I don't even know how to say that. Acia or something like that. And then there's a different uh, 12 pack that's a citrus. The only reason I knew about these is because someone who does keto, this is what they drink. So this one's grapefruit and pomegranate. Uh, Colima and lime. Colima lime? I don't even know how to say that. Sicilian blood orange. And lemon and yuzo? I don't know how to say that. Anyway, so this is what we're going to have at uh, the river tomorrow. We're going to have a good time on the river. So maybe you all see some footage of that. I don't know. Usually when I hang out with my family and stuff, I try to do family time stuff. So we will see. Let me know if you've ever had these before. Here is what is going to be for dinner. So that's four ounces of hamburger meat, plus to five. And then I'm going to put some of this in there and make a hamburger cheese dip and eat those with the pork rinds. That's what my dinner is going to be. I know it's nothing like fancy, but I don't want to make anything elaborate and that sounds really good to me. So that's what I'm going to have. And then we will finish the night out with a keto 
coffee or something of that nature. I put six tablespoons in here, um, salt and pepper, and then I'm not really sure how many uh, pork rinds I'm going to use. We'll figure that out in just a moment. So this is how much we're going to have here. Six tablespoons of that um, cheese sauce, four to five ounces of beef, and then, you know, a couple handfuls of the barbecue pork rinds. Doesn't really matter how many you eat. I'm going to drink a bottle of water with that. All right, let's end this day with some uh, keto hot chocolate, perfect keto, one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of coconut oil, three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Super easy to make and uh, tastes delicious. I'm gonna chug that after I get off of here. Um, today was a little uneventful. I don't have a lot to uh, run by you guys. Let me set that down so I can hold this camera a little bit more still. Um, so a week of doing intermittent fasting i it's just it wasn't for me I, I didn't get a benefit i just felt like i was really 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 hungry and i think we all know that hunger <laughs> is what causes most of our problems like uh i don't know like uh wanting to eat snickers bars and ice cream and stuff speaking of ice cream um, does anybody eat Halo Top? Because they had some on sale at Walmart for, uh, it was like normally like $3.88 a little tub, and they had them on sale for $2.50. I wanted to buy some, but I, I was looking at the macros on the back of it, and like every one of them was around like 15 to 17 carbs per serving, and there was four, there was four servings in each tub. So there's like 64 carbs, and I'm sorry, but I don't, if you can just eat a half of that tub or even a quarter of that tub, kudos to you. Because, I mean, if I open that tub, I'm smashing that whole thing for sure. So I did not get any, even though they were on sale. Normally, I would get something if it's on sale, especially like that, when it's good. And so we want. Too bad they didn't have those uh, cauliflower pizzas or whatever it is, to, that the pizzas that I bought. And that I can't remember the name of them or whatever they're... They're made out of cauliflower. I still haven't tried like the chicken um, crust pizzas. I can't remember who makes those, but I've attempted to make some stuff like that before and it's just like a lot of work and maybe a lot of the different keto meals that you see where people are trying to eat like normal stuff and you know, keto friendly stuff, that's a lot of preparation. So if you're really going to spend your time making something keto friendly, uh, that better be worth it. I don't mind making desserts that take a long time. I've kind of gotten into the, the part where I, I make, when I make desserts, I try to make them as, as, as simplistic as possible. Um, I used to do like this uh, cinnamon cheesecake swirl, which I will make that before the end of our 30 days, by the way. I made something tonight. I've never made it before. Uh, I just kind of thought up some ingredients. I was like, hey, this sounds good. I'm going to mix it up. I mixed it up. It's in the freezer right now. I'm going to taste it tomorrow to see if it's worth even eating. It might be garbage, to be honest with you. But again, that's what I do is I just try to make up some different things and, and see how it goes. You know, I mean, that that to me is the... The way to go with it just try your hardest to take things that you know you like and mix them up make sure the ratios you know make sure your fat is higher than everything else i mean that's that's the main thing obviously watching out for carbs but you should be watching out for carbs if it's keto friendly it shouldn't have any, very many carbs in it so again i'll see what that tastes like uh, we'll do the test taste of those uh those alcoholic drinks I do have some Corona uh, Premier, which is kind of new. I'm a huge Corona fan. Like, if I was going to drink beer and I wasn't doing keto, I would drink uh, Corona Extra. Um, these Corona Premier taste a lot like the Corona Light, which I'm not super, I'm not, I don't really like it that much. But at the same time, it's better than drinking Michelob Ultra for me. And I'm not hating on Michelob Ultra. I'm just saying I, I, don't, I don't like Michelob Ultra that much. I'll definitely drink it, but it gives me headaches. Like Bud Light and Miller Light, I cannot drink either one of those beers because it will give me like extreme headaches. And it's from like the barley or wheat or whatever they use to make it. Um, but Michelob Ultra does the same exact thing to me. It gives me headaches, and I hate that. So, And Corona has never given me a headache or a hangover for that matter. And I've drank like 12 Coronas at, in a sitting before and did not wake up with a hangover, which if I would have drank 12 Michelob Ultras, I definitely would have had a headache. But... 
I only plan on drinking like three to maybe five at max the entire day tomorrow. I've got my kids and stuff, so I mean, I'm not going to get smashed or anything, but I, I'm going to try it out and see if it's good because people are talking about it. Uh, someone is also saying Smirnoff has a low-carb beer and Henry's Hard Seltzer. I found some Henry Hard, but it was like uh, it was like that uh, Not Your Father's Root Beer. Like it, it didn't, you know, it had lots of carbs and sugars and stuff in it so i'm not really sure but that's what i had to pick from was those two 12 packs that's all they had was that those two 12 packs like they had six of each of those two 12 packs so i just got one of each and we'll just try out i'm just going to try out one of each flavor and see what it tastes like and i'll let you know my opinion on it and uh whether i'm going to buy any more or not i've got some other stuff to test that i just bought um aquafina has that like seltzer water that has no sugar and stuff in it um, I bought some. I have not tried it yet. I think I have black cherry, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll get that out. We'll test it. We'll see if it's keto-friendly, first of all, because that's what we really want to know is if it's keto-friendly. If it tastes good. If it tastes good, yeah, we'll definitely see if it's keto-friendly. If it tastes like crap, like LaCroix, um, I'm not testing that because I'm literally never going to drink LaCroix. I mean, I drink LaCroix mixed with some Propel in it, and that's like... It, if I'm craving like an orange soda or I'm craving some kind of like carbonated like drink, I will mix a LaCroix with a full package of um, Propel and it's kind of like drinking a soda to me. It's not great, but it's, it's doable. It's drinkable. So if you're like tired of drinking the same thing for uh, supper, you know, again, I drink, uh, you know, unsweetened tea. I'll drink some of that. I don't have it much. I prefer uh, hot green tea, but... I don't know. It's the wrong time of year to be drinking hot stuff. Like even coffee. I don't drink a whole lot of hot, hot coffee recently because it's hot here. It's like 100 degrees every single day. So anyway, I'm rambling on and I hope, I hope anything that I said at least was beneficial to you in some way. It's kind of a, it's kind of a whatever day. I'm hopefully tomorrow I'll get some cool footage and uh, we'll make a short little vlog tomorrow going to the river and getting prepared and showing you what I'm going to take with me because we're staying keto friendly. We are going to drink a little bit, but we are staying keto friendly tomorrow. We will not be cheating on the diet. I'm I'm not cheating until we go on vacation, which is eight, uh, August 8th. So August 8th through 12th, I'm probably not going to do the ketogenic diet. Um, that Sunday that we come back, I may fast. I, I'm not going to pinpoint that one because I, I'm... When you go on vacation, you're going on vacation. You can deal with your diet on a later day, you know. You can always bounce back. You can always come right back to it. I mean, I'm not going to gain 15 pounds in four or five days. That's just not going to happen. However, what's important is when I get back, I stop eating garbage. That's the important part. But anyway, um, I need to get off here. I've been rambling for like seven and a half minutes, and I need to drink that keto coffee. Um, and I've also got a lot of videos to edit still I'm, I'm so deep so deep anyway until tomorrow keep it keto